Welcome back. A live look that we've been peeking on throughout the morning. This is uh, some volunteers in St. Louis Park who are doing a little Earth Day cleanup. Lots of volunteers. They expect hundreds throughout the day today. They got going at 9 o'clock and continuing to have people go through, getting the bags and the rubber gloves, picking up some litter in the various parks in St. Louis Park. I know Minneapolis and lots of cities and uh, places are doing that this weekend. So keep up the wonderful work. Well, speaking of Earth Day, we know it also is a time that we can kind of re-examine what we are doing and contributing to the waste on our planet and maybe how we can improve things and the how amount of trash that we are generating. A zero waste household might not be easy, at least at first sound of it, but small changes can make big impacts, right? Join us now as one of the experts in this category, Kristen Marikava from Tear Market. Good to see you. Thanks Thank you for, for having us. me. For people not <coughs> familiar with Tear, you guys yes. have two <coughs> locations and you truly are kind of experts in very green, very, um, you know, not having a, a harsh impact on our planet products. That's right. So Tear Market is a zero waste market. We have uh, plastic free and package free goods. And one of our goals is to help people just think differently about how they're consuming. Americans generate four pounds of trash per day. And many of those products are single use. And at Tear Market, we have products that can be swapped out, sustainable swaps um, for multi-use products four pounds a day. I just yes. feel the guilt immediately upon hearing you say that. Um, and obviously a lot of people want to do this. That's why your business was able to expand exactly. um, in the last year or so. So walk us through some easy examples that people can yeah. get started. Because you mentioned doing a trash audit is yes. kind of a good first place to address things. Exactly. So we meet customers wherever they are in their journey. On our website, theterremarket.com, we have a how to conduct a trash audit. And it's simple steps around how you can observe where your waste like where you have the most waste so actually the first step is just to consume like normal for a week and then assess what you've thrown away and kind of go through that write down where you have the biggest areas and then start with one swap if that swap goes well go to another one and eventually just cut down on the waste you're creating. You said the bathroom is a yes. Spot where we so can the bathroom do is some savings. Exactly. One big area where we generate a lot of plastic waste and I'll start with the toothpaste tablets. So that is a dehydrated toothpaste tablet. It replaces toothpaste that's in a tube. Americans uh, discard about 400 million toothpaste tubes every year and the uh, dehydrated version works very similarly. So you can trade this for one of these. Correct. Tiny little tablets. Oh exactly. My you okay. just pop it in your mouth, chew it up, oh. brush like normal, spit, and it's it does the same thing. And actually the toothpaste tablets are also just lighter to ship and so there is a lower carbon footprint when you use those. Interesting. Yeah, okay. yeah. Also dental floss. So this is a compostable dental floss which um, replaces this, the plastic dental floss and it is covered in a, has a candelilla wax coating and so completely compostable. <laughs> um, the toothbrush brush heads here, so we have a plastic toothbrush head. The plastic bristles are not, com uh, they don't break down very easily whereas the bamboo version here uh, is compostable. The bristles are made of a castor oil and infused with charcoal and charcoal is a natural cleaning agent oh. and so it's also very effective at cleaning your teeth. We also have a facial round so this is a single-use uh, cotton facial uh, pad and this is a reusable facial round. Uh, they can, they're also multi-use. You can uh, apply makeup, you can remove toner, excuse me, apply toner, remove makeup and you throw them in a laundry bag and they launder up and can be reused. Moving out of the bathroom, we've got about a minute left. Talk yes. about some of these so we also items have uh, some coffee socks so this is a single-use coffee filter and the reusable coffee socks so hmm. that is compostable oh, yeah. at the end of its life uh, you simply dump out the grounds uh, wash it rinse it and then thoroughly dry it and it can be used again and again we have the bees wrap so that replaces the plastic wrap um, and this is also multi-use you can wrap up a block of cheese you can cover up foods on your counter in your refrigerator easy to maintain and, and it sticks around the bowl similar to your cling wrap? Or your, exactly. Your cling wrap? Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. It actually it seems more, that actually would cling on better. I was fighting with some <laughs> saran wrap yes, last night. Yes, it's very easy to use, very yeah. easy to use. Um, and we also have the uh, laundry sheet. So this 
uh, replaces the laundry detergent in a jug, obviously. There are 900 million of these discarded every year in the United States. Many of them don't recycle or break down very easily, and um, so the laundry sheet, you throw it in, it dissolves, and you have no waste. Uh, dryer ball, so this replaces the single-use dryer sheet. Uh, these also can be used hundreds of times and can save energy in your dryer. Your dryer does not need to run as long. So you also have a cost savings, and then we also have the uh, reusable mop pad. You can use it wet or dry, and it replaces the um, single-use version of a mop pad. And this is just a small sampling of a whole store yes. full of things that you guys have that are really uh, good and people can try what is the right thing to try for them. Exactly, yes. Um, every, every little bit goes a long way and so <clears throat> even if you make a couple of swaps to start or one, you're having a positive impact. And again, we like to meet customers wherever they are and so we'd love to have anyone stop into our store. We've got over 700 products and uh, lots of staff to help answer any questions. Yep, all right. And and again, the website, if people want to go to it, is thetearmarket.com. And we'll also put a link on our website. There's a checklist that you can start and get going. Can, can get the kids involved or something yes. for Earth Day, you know, educate all of us. Kristen, thank you. We appreciate thank it. Thank you Happy for Earth having Day me. to you. Yes, we, you too. We really appreciate your insight. Thank you.